Howdy everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about one of the most, if not the most common error encountered when logging into the WordPress mobile app, and that is an XML RPC error. Now, what is it and how do I fix it? Well, basically the mobile app absolutely 100% requires the XML RPC.php file on your site to be exposed in some manner in order to connect. So if the app can't find that file to communicate with the app, it cannot connect to your site. So as you're logging into the app, you go ahead and hit enter your site address. And then when you put in your user credentials and you go to log in, it's going to throw back. If it says XML RPC in there at all, that means the app cannot find that file. So how to fix that? So there's a site and it's actually the same exact site that the mobile app staff will use to test the XML RPC endpoint of your site if you have a support ticket open with them. And I'll go ahead and link that URL in the description, but you can go there and if you type or paste in your site's URL there, uh, it's going to go ahead and return that same error and you can see um, XML RPC services are disabled. So if I go back to my site, and one of the most common issues is, is, is a security plugin turns this off. Usually a security plugin, um, but sometimes just a plugin in general. So you know, for demonstration purposes, you can see on this side I have disable XML RPC uh, activated, and if I deactivate it, and I go back and I test the site again, you can see that I pass the check, and if I go to log into that site on the app, I'm not gonna have any problems. So like I said, one quick way to test it is to head back to the dashboard of your self-hosted site and head to the plugin section. Um, you can just disable all of the plugins and, uh, and test the site again. And if it works, you know that a plugin is interfering with the app's ability to communicate with your site's XML RPC file. Now, if it's not a plugin, um, another common thing that it is is a host. Uh, lots of hosts tend to block this file. And uh, the reason they do this is because they really don't want to deal with it. So that file being exposed can be pinged against a bunch of times and if that happens from a bunch of different machines that can sort of constitute a DDoS attack. You can put heavy load on uh, your site and thus their servers so hosts don't want to deal with that. Um, people have had concerns about that file being uh, you know pinged a bunch of times with the username and password using XML RPC to simulate a uh, brute force uh, attack effectively. Um, but there are ways around this and, you know, modern tools and host providers should, you know, realize, okay, XML RPC is a popular method uh, to interface with, you know, third-party clients, including the WordPress mobile app. So, uh, you know, one way you can be sure if, if you, you know, believe for sure that it's completely unsafe, you can go to wordpress.com or wordpress.org slash xmlrpc.php and you'll see that uh, both of those endpoints return um, you know, a proper XML RPC endpoint. Uh, and so if those sites can be configured, which get, you know, millions and millions of hits a day, millions of, of users and traffic and robots and other things ping in the site, then for sure your site uh, can be configured effectively to use XML RPC. Uh, so yeah, that is what causes XML RPC errors, how to fix them. And yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.